All right, whatever you guys are. Are you ready? taking a picture? He's going to film. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to film for. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Technology. I'm on guard. All right. <laughs> Uh, 103.7 WMGM Rocks and Sean Patrick here at Fantasy Football Fest 2012 with legendary quarterback, you know, from CBS, inside the NFL, Phil Simmons. Wait, hold on. You got to start. Legendary? Legendary. Oh, really? and, I, and I'm an Eagles and Dolphins fan. Too. You are so an Eagles fan. Yeah, we're a giant. Yeah. Legendary. Yeah, one time I was doing the Eagles game, they showed me on the screen, and I held up both of my Super Bowl games. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get an arm... Arm people to take me out of the stadium. Boy, they were. Of course, anytime they show me on the screen in the Eagle Stadium, even today, they still boo me. So that's awesome. So, well, I interviewed uh, Otis Anderson yesterday, and I was wearing a LaShawn McCoy jersey. This is the closest he's ever been to an Eagles for uh, something in the Eagles jersey without being hit. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, it was pretty rough. There's no doubt about it. OJ was part of that. Uh, I, I, I really do miss some of the old stadiums so just for memories. RFK. And of course, the vet. Oh my gosh, it didn't get much worse than the vet. No, no it, one here misses the vet. Oh yeah, but it had. <laughs> there was something to it. it. Maybe it's the bad field, but I think most of it had to do with the people on it who were pretty rough. So, uh, you know, you're here for fantasy football. Best, or are you a fantasy football guy? I've been asking everyone here. Do you, do you play fantasy football? Well, you know, I, I'm I'm actually in a league, but I do have a general manager. And all I do is gripe at him that we don't do well. That was a stupid pick. You did this, do this. But I do give my, he'll say, who should I play today? And he'll give me, he'll ask me a few questions as I'm getting ready to go to the booth and I'll give him my opinion on those players. Okay. So, but the key thing was the draft. And I always like going, what were you thinking? But I have done pretty good. He, me, he's done pretty good. We actually won the league one year. And, um, the biggest thing is Jim Nance is in the league, and all that's important, I don't care if I lose every yeah. game, just beat Jim Nance, be which Jim we've been doing. Nice. Now, we, we hear you on CBS uh, during the football season. You're also on Inside the NFL. Which one do you like doing better, you know, doing the Inside the NFL or calling the game? Well, if you made me choose one, I, I would definitely do the games, okay. just because I like being at the sites and being involved, seeing how the games play out. Physically, emotionally, everything. You know, and, and the great thing about being the, uh, an announcer is I have a lot of inside information. So uh, they'll be calling me on Sunday morning. <laughs> but so that part is really fun. But I love the NFL inside the NFL just for the fun part of it because we can really basically do whatever we want. So I like that part of it. And of course, hey, look, I'm, I'm, I do the show for a lot of reasons. But the biggest reason why I said yes to the show was because I wanted to argue against Chris Collins. Okay. So that's working out well. You, you have some classic arguments. Now, is it as fun taping it as it is to watch it? You look like you guys have Oh, yeah. No, it's fun. And, uh, yeah, we, we always say we should just have a camera follow us when we're off camera because it's it gets worse. <laughs> and, uh, but we do have a lot of fun. We really do. Awesome. Now, I asked Keith Byers over there his prediction for the Super Bowl. I won't tell you what he predicted yet, but what's your prediction this year? Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's, it's so far away. I know this. I think the AFC is loaded. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to have to pre predict the Super Bowl uh, game as I do Showtime and all that. People love that. I always do the same thing every year. I go to the Super Bowl. And I always say to all the radio, I said, these are the two teams I picked before the year. <laughs> yeah. And they go, did you really? I said, yes. Who's going to check? <laughs> yeah. Right? You see, officer, am I right? No, yeah, nobody's going to check. They go, that's unbelievable. You picked the Cardinals and the Steelers. I picked them before the season. So, but now, the way things are on TV, so yeah. I'm getting called out maybe. But uh, I think the Giants are loaded. I really do. Quarterback receivers, and they can hit the quarterback better than anybody. I, I, it's, they're loaded on the defensive front. And that could be the... But, you know, look at the AFC. It is just... It's got some good teams. I, I, I said it wrong. The NFC is stacked. But I, I look at the Giants and 49ers as still as my two favorites. And the team that's I think has a chance to be special this year it, it is the Houston Texans. They're ready to win. They got depth. They got a taste of it last year. The quarterback's back. They're tough. Uh, they're an aggressive team on both sides of the ball. There's a lot of 
that's a pretty good formula to have great success. So we'll see how that works out. And my last question for you: you got two uh, two highly touted uh, quarterbacks coming into the league this year, rookies uh, RG three. Not to interrupt you, but the, the, the Keith Byers is one big dude, isn't he? Yeah, his hands, massive. I mean, it, it, his hands. Look at look at look at his whole body. <laughs> Man, you couldn't you couldn't hurt him if you hit him with an axe. He could have been a linebacker, quite honestly. I think. He's too damn big to be a linebacker. <laughs> if he was playing football now, they'd make him put his hand on the ground. But uh, but uh, all the two quarterbacks this year, yeah, big high profile. You know, it's such it's so different coming to the league now as a quarterback. Um, franchises protect them. They groom them. They do whatever it takes. It's like the only child. You know, the parents, they just dote on him, and they're going to make sure that he has a really good life or whatever. And that's the way it is with these quarterbacks now. And uh, so they'll have success because the teams know and the coaches know if those quarterbacks don't have success, they're going to find somebody else to get in there to make sure they have success. They're both talented in different ways. Andrew Luck is just a big, really, really big physical quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes out. And of course, Robert Griffin III is a, a different kind of type. You know, it's going to be a little more mobile. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they use him, but they both have a lot of talent. Awesome. Phil, thank you so much. Pleasure. Okay, my pleasure. Dan Marino, you look